It's all right for some. We're going to get the old maypole up today, Patch. How do you fancy giving me a hand? Uh, Paul. OK, you stay here. Okay. Little Red Tractor and I can manage. So, what's this maple thing for, then? It's to welcome in the spring. We do it every year. It's planted in a field and then we tie ribbons to it. And dance around it. It's great. <laughs> Sounds a bit weird to me. Hiya, Stan. Hi, Little Red Tractor. <laughs> Hello, you lot. Come to help with the maypole, eh, Leo? Uh, yeah. I think so. We've been telling Leo all about them. Not sure I'll be doing any dancing, though. Oh, you will. It's dead easy. Don't reckon it's my sort of dancing, though. I do a bit more like this. Oh, look at that. The old maypole's gone rotten over the winter. <sighs> there mightn't be any dancing at all. Oh, no. Still, we'll just go and find another. Come on. Let's go to Tawny Owl Wood. We'll find something suitable there. Brilliant! Yeah. OK, let's get looking. Now, what we want is a nice, long, straight piece of wood. Not a living branch or anything. Can't take the living stuff. Bet I find it. Bet I do. Oh, the spring it is a-coming in, coming in, coming in. The spring it is a... That's not very rock and roll, Dad. Well, no, but I, I'm practising for the May Day celebrations tomorrow, aren't I? Oh, the spring it is a coming in, a coming in. Yeah, you're right. It's not very rock and roll. Whoa, spring along a whoop a bop a ding a dang a dong. <laughs> now that's rock and roll. Uh, Stan, how about this? Would this do? Well done, Leo. Just the job. A dead tree. You'll have this down in no time, won't you, little red tractor? OK, stand back, you lot. Steady as you go. A good push and we'll have it. Tim! Oh! Good Leo, red tractor! OK. Now to strip it of its branches and plant it in the field. Uncle Jasper, I don't... Not just now, Thomas. I'm making sure my stall's all present and correct. Yes, and there's something Should make you... a pretty penny if the May Day celebrations can't beat May Day for a chance to make a spot of money. <laughs> my cheese went like hotcakes last... Um, last... Oh, for goodness. That's what I've been trying to tell you, Uncle Jasper. Remember the bonfire you made just before Christmas? Oh, yes. I used the legs to get the bonfire started. Yes, you said you wouldn't be needing them. How wrong I was. Mm -hmm. Just have to find something else. I'll bet Stan could help out. He usually has that sort of thing knocking about at Gosling Farm. There. One maypole all ready for May Day. No, it isn't. We need some ribbons. And we ought to paint it, too. Now, that's what I call a good idea. I've got all the stuff we need back at the farm. Come on. All right, then, Elsie, I will. Go and play somewhere else, he says. <laughs> i got to rehearse, don't I? Well, well, perhaps he's got a point. Might be better to rehearse together, like, and, and me and Walter ain't played it since last spring. Oh, the spring it is a coming in, coming in, coming in. The spring it is. Oh, the spring it is. Stumpy, watch out! Watch out! Are you all right? Hmm. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, never better. <laughs> oh, sorry, Stan. Should have been looking where I was going. On my way to Walters to do a spot of rehearsing. You know, for the May Day celebrations. Good stuff. But I don't think driving along with that thing on the handlebars was the best idea in the world. No, it wasn't. <clears throat> and now Nipper's... <clears throat> Nipper's stuck! <clears throat> Looks like another job for you, little red tractor. Good day to you, ladies. Lovely day for it. Mm. 
grass tasting nice today, is it? <laughs> oh, that was close. Could have given you a nasty scratch, Big Blue. Hmm. Stupid place to leave a pole. Ah, a pole! Just the very thing we're looking for. No need to bother Stan now. I need to save someone else crashing into it, too. Right, Stumpy. We'll soon have Nipper out now. Steady as you go, Stan. That's it, little red tractor. He's coming. Nice one, little red tractor. There you go. Oh, thanks, Stan. <laughs> thanks, little red tractor. Right. There. And this time, make sure you can see where you're going. Oh, I will, Stan. Don't want to see the inside of another hedge today. <laughs> right. Come on, you lot. We've got a maypole to paint, remember? Yeah. Oh, yeah! Aha! Here they are. You can't go maypole dancing without some nice bright ribbons. Stan, can we use these paintbrushes? Yep, just the job. How about red? Or blue? No. A maypole has to be white. Here we are. Right. Let's get that maypole painted and quick. It'll be time for your tea pretty soon. It was just there. It can't have been. It was. Maybe it fell over. Maybe the cows decided to play with it. <laughs> I, I don't think so, Leo. Cows aren't usually that interested in games. Well, it's gone. We'll just have to go and find another one. Afraid not, Ryan. It's getting late. Then what about May Day? It won't be proper without a maypole. I'll think of something. I hope. But right now, it's time I was getting you back for your tea. Well, we've got a lovely day for it. Uncle Jasper? But now, Thomas, this requires a little concentration. But, Uncle Jasper, I thought there was supposed to be a maypole. Whoa! Oh, steady, Nipper. <laughs> Hello there, young Thomas. Morning, Mr. Jones. Hmm. He's concentrating. Oh. <laughs> uh, Walter here yet. Can't do the springtime song without... With... <laughs> Hang on. Where's the maypole? Stan said he'd planted one here yesterday. He was going to paint it and tie ribbons to it and all. Said it was here. Yeah, Mr. Jones, you haven't seen it, have you? The maypole. The, uh, ma the, the, the maypole? The maypole? I... Ah. Uncle Jasper, where did you get those new table legs from? Oh dear. Something the matter, Mr. Jones. Stan, I, 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 I don't know where to begin. I've done something rather stupid. You, Mr. Jones. You, uh, you, uh, you, you, you know that maypole. Yes, one minute it was here, next minute it was gone. Well, it's back here again. It's, um, <coughs> in four little bits. I didn't realise what it was. I, I, I'm sorry, Stan. Very, very sorry. I've spoilt everything. Oh, I'm sure we can think of something. <laughs> I think Little Red Tractor may have the answer. Oh, the spring it is a coming in, coming in, coming in. The spring it is a coming in. Oh, thanks to Little Red Tractor. Oh, the spring it is a coming in, coming in, coming in. The spring it is a coming in. Oh, thanks to Little Red Tractor. That's it, Little Red Tractor. Let those cows know we're here. Morning, Daisy. Morning, Veronica. Here we go. Right, Little Red Tractor. Next stop, Walter's Garage for one of Nicola's sandwiches. The cows aren't the only hungry ones round here. Hi, Stan. Diesel? No, thanks, Nicola. It's me that needs filling up. Can I have one of your cheese and pickle sandwiches? Coming right up, Stan. <laughs> Sounds like Walter's fixing up his old banger again. Rotten, useless lump of... Hi, Walter. Spot of bother with the motor? Ah, oh, 
Yeah, I stand. Yeah, uh, uh, just a bit. See, every time I start her up, there's a great big bang. I can't understand it. Here, look, watch. Funny. It's never made that noise before. I don't think it was your car, Walter. It sounded more like Big Blue. Stop! Anyone at home? God! What the dickens was that? Rotten thing? But I'll get it fixed. You see if I don't. I wish you would, Walter. But first, I've got a little job for you. Now see this dent here? Well, yeah, just, uh... Uh, what then? I'd like you to mend it for me. Soon as. Got to have Big Blue looking absolutely tickety-boo for this evening, hmm? All right, I'll ask. Why is that, Mr. Jones? Something special on? No, 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 not really. <laughs> Just some people from High Magazine coming to do a feature on me and my farm. High Magazine? That's amazing! They have all the top celebrities in it. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Only last week they ran a special feature on, but Mr Jones... Yes? That Stan sandwich. What? Uh, oh, well, I mean, I was only borrowing it. Well, it's not usually a good idea to borrow things without asking first. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, go on, you have it. And I'll get you another one, Stan. Ah! I think I see it. There. There. That's the last. Thanks a lot, Stan. Great help. Here we are, Stan. Nice slice of cake after all your hard work. Well, thanks, Elsie, but I don't think I could. I've just polished off a sandwich. Of course you could, Stan. Strapping fellow like you needs to keep his strength up. Well... Thanks. You hear about Mr. Jones? No, what? High Magazine's doing a feature on him. <laughs> you what? That's right. They're coming to take photos of him and his farm. Since when has Mr. Jones been a celebrity? Oh, it's not like the old days, you know, when celebrities were celebrities. Do you remember those great old black and white film stars, Stan? A bit before my time. I just hope Mr. Jones doesn't get all big-headed, that's all. Well, thanks for the cake, Elsie. Time I was off. See you later. Bye, Stan. Well, hello, Amy. Ryan? We helped Mum bake some scones, Stan. And we've brought some for you to try. Maybe a bit later, eh? When I'm a bit hungrier. Oh. Mind you, I think I know someone who will be hungry. Do you fancy coming with me to feed the cows? Oh, yes, please, Stan. But I thought cows ate grass. So they do, Ryan. But when it gets near winter time, they need a little something extra. Jump in the trailer, I'll get the feed. You watch this. As soon as the cows hear Little Red Tractor, they'll come running for their feed. That's funny. They usually hear straight away. Steady on, Little Red Tractor. Oh, no. The gate's open. They must have escaped. Come on, Little Red Tractor. Let's find those cows. Still no sign of them. <laughs> Stumpy, are you all right? <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm fine. Um, anyone seen my hat? Have you seen Stan's cows? Stan's cows? They've gone missing. Well, I, I'd give you a hand looking for them, Stan, but I need to find my hat first. <laughs> what? What is it? Ho, 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 you little tinkers. <laughs> Right, Stan, I'll help you find those cows now. Where do you last see them? Oh, that's lovely, Mr. Jones. Give me proud. Give me masterful. 
Oh, yes, super. Oh, and now perhaps a couple of snips of the dairy. Uh, uh, dairy? It's where we at Beach Farm make our cheese, Beachdale, we call it. It's a new venture, you know, this, uh, this way. Um, uh, those, those cows, um... Ah, yes, the Beachdale cows, they produce the milk we use for our cheese. They're not going to, you know, ch charge or anything, you know, horns and I, um... <laughs> oh, dear, dear. Now, don't tell me you're frightened of Buttercup and Bluebell. No, no, no. Just a bit. Nothing to worry about. No. No. Now, now, when you when you get back to the land as I've done, you become quite at home with beasts such as these. Right now, how do I look here? <laughs> Mr. Jones, are you sure you're safe? Let's try our luck in Babblebrook. Stuff. I'm so sorry. I, I I can't think how it happened. Um, Skip, um, Mr. Shutter, no, 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 come back. Daisy, Veronica, what are you doing here? Um, perhaps you'd like to take some shots of the farmhouse now. No, I would not. I'm leaving, Mr. Jones. And don't for a moment imagine that your picture or that of your smelly farm and its smelly animals will ever make it to the pages of High Magazine. Not after what? Oh, but, uh, but Skip, I, I have... We, and I, uh... I do, oh, hello, Stan. Hello, children. Mr. Jones, what are Daisy and Veronica doing here? I, um, well... Uh, that is where... Well, I borrowed them, Stan. We've been looking everywhere for them. For ages. Well, I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't think you'd mind, Stan. I wouldn't have, Mr Jones, if you'd asked me. And if you had asked me, I don't think you'd have ended up in such a mess. Vanity, Stan. I, I saw the chance to be in High Magazine and, well, I... I wanted to be a star. Well, if you ask me, being famous isn't all it's cracked up to be. There's far more to life than being a star. There is? No, no, he, he, uh, <clears throat> there is. You're, you're, you're right, of course, still. Um, should I um, help you get the cows back into their field? Don't worry. Now you've stopped feeding them, they'll happily follow my own little star. <laughs> Here we go. This is the last of them. You know, it was nice of Mr Jones to lend us his kitchen chairs for the party last night. And nice of Walter to lend his cool box. You know, we're lucky to have good neighbours. Here comes one now. Brace yourself. Morning, Stumpy. <laughs> Hello, Stan. Oh, thanks. You in a hurry? A hurry? Oh, oh yes. I slept in. <laughs> Is it still OK to borrow your ladder? Of course. It's in the barn. Help yourself. <laughs> I think I overdid it at your party last night. I, I can't believe I offered to help to clean Mr Jones's windows. What was I thinking? Uh, Stumpy, you sure you don't want me to take the ladder round for you? I'm going there myself after a stop at the garage. No, no, no. I, I, I'll be fine, thanks, Stan. Bye! Whoa! Yeah, that's it, Sparky. Hold still. <laughs> Easy peasy. Cheers, Sparky. Right. Now, the rain's coming in at the front here, so the hole must be... Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> this looks like it. There's a hole in my roof, dear Walter, dear Walter. Ah, it's OK, I'm here. Now we can make a start. Overslept, eh? <laughs> I don't know. I've been waiting here for ages and ages. And ages. All right, all right. I'm sorry I'm late. 
must have overdone it last night. Aha! Hmm, it's a bit wobbly. Hmm. Up you scoot. Eh? Up, up. You want me to go up there? Naturally. I've thought it through, you see, and it's the best way. You up there, me down here. Mm, all right, if you're sure it's the best way. And you're going to hold the ladder steady. Hmm? One? Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, of course. Yes. Oh, up! Now, where did I put that new tarpaulin? Aha! Uh -huh. It's always in the last place you look. Right, let's get this lock covered up and tied down, then round to Walter's. Cool. <laughs> you should have been a builder, not a mechanic. You've done a lovely job there, Walt. Whoa! Hey, wait up, Nicola! I need to get... Down. Oh, this is no use. I can't see a thing from down here. I know. I'll go upstairs and then I can keep an eye on him from inside. Make sure he's doing it properly. Now, don't worry if you're stuck with no way to get down. Your building skills will be the talk of the town. Where you fix the roof, it's waterproof. So sing along with water and don't you frown. Walter? What? Oh, uh, yeah, hello down there. What are you doing? Well, um, <coughs> yeah, uh, I was fixing the roof and, uh, and now, well, um, I I'm stuck. Here, you couldn't help me down, could you, Stan? I've been up here for ages. Oh, I'm sure Little Red Tractor and I can find a way to get you down. Good, good. Just the job. Oh, Stumpy, um, <clears throat> you've missed a bit. I thought you were holding the ladder steady. What? I said I thought you were holding the ladder steady. I can't hear a word. I said you missed a... Ah! Oh, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, why do these things always happen to me? How are you getting on, Walter? Yeah, now that's got it. Uh, ready when you are. Right, forward. Nice and slow now. That's it. Just a little further. Perfect. Hold still, little red tractor. We're all set here. You feeling brave, Walter? Brave is my middle name. <laughs> here I come, ready or not. Geronimo! <laughs> well, that was great. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, little red tractor. No problem. You did the hard part. Well, now that I'm down all safe and sound, what can I do for you? I'll just pop round to return your cool box and this. You must have dropped it last night when you were dancing. My comb! Cheers! Hey, great party last night. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm a-looking good. I'd better get round to Beach Farm. I've got a few more things to return. Oh, could I catch a lift? Sure. Yoo-ho! Oh, what to do? Yoo-ho! Oh, who are you yoo-hooing? I was yoo-hooing you! Well, don't yoo-hoo. I'm trying to think. Well, you thought of a plan to get me down yet? No. Yeah, well, if Stan were here, he'd know what to do. Well, he's not. I am, and I need to think, so I'll require a little peace and a little quiet. Oh, no, that's all I need. Hello, all. Lovely day. Hi. I brought you chairs, but... Yoo-hoo! Yoo-hoo, Stumpy! What's Stumpy doing up there? Well, um... Oh, no. 
Is that my ladder? Um, afraid so. What happened? Stumpy fell off the ladder and... I only fell off after you trapped my fingers in the window. Well, your fingers shouldn't have been there. You should have been holding the ladder. Whoa there, fellas. Uh, um, shouldn't we be trying to get Stumpy down? He's right. The first thing to do is get Stumpy down. Ah, yes, well, I'm, uh, I've been thinking very hard, and there's absolutely no way to get him down, so he will have to stay up there till we can get a new ladder. But I want to get down now! Hold on. I think I may have an idea. We'll need that tarpaulin, Walter, and, um... Ideally, we need four people. This will never work. Sure it will. Have a little faith. There. Everyone set? Ready! Ready. Hold tight now. OK, Stumpy. Ready when you are. Oh, dear me. Go on, you can do it. Not sure he can, you know. Come on, Stumpy. On the count of three. One, two, two three. Oh, here goes nothing. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Well, hey! But I'll be. Are you OK? Uh, well, I'm fine. <laughs> no harm done. Well, except for the ladder, that is. I do feel a little bare, seeing as it was sort of my fault. So I'll get a new one tomorrow. That's very kind. Thanks, Mr Jones. Uh, thank you, Stan. And thank you too, little Red Tractor. Me and Stumpy would have been left high and dry if it weren't for the both of you. Thank you both. Oh, well, now I'd better get back to the mill. I was meant to be back in time for lunch. <laughs> Bye! See you. Cheerio! Yeah, we'll catch you later. <laughs> <laughs>